Brandon Bing. You're watching MogulMediaTV.com. Um, it definitely was a, a, a feeling I really can't describe um, because it's been something I've been pretty much aiming, this is a goal I've been aiming towards my whole life. So um, it's really, I really can't explain it, but it, it definitely was a great feeling, I can say that. Um, the first thing I did was look for my mother. Um, she was in the stands, I couldn't find her, so... Um, you know, she she hasn't missed a game since I've been playing since I was seven. She hasn't missed a game, so um, I wanted to share that moment with my mother. So that was the first thing I did um, as soon as the, the clock hit zero. Being as though it's my rookie season, um, you know, I haven't I haven't been able to really touch on too many of my own foundations. I do have, you know, plans of doing that in the future, but I have went back to some schools that I went to um, as far as you know, speaking to them and sharing my experiences with them. Um, I've also, I've been, I've been in the future. I have some uh, Ronald McDonald things going on. Um, just kind of getting in contact with a bunch of people so I can do as much as I can. Um, whether it's modeling, acting, whatever that has to offer outside of football. I know football, I use that as a stepping stone. But um, as far as charities, that's that's soon to come for me. I know that that's a very it's, it's imperative to um, to to manage your money and, and, and time management and all those type of things. I've learned basically from off of ex, off of experience of seeing other guys struggle or do well. Um, I learned from those things. So to me, um, you have to understand that football is not a um, a career like a nurse or something of that sort that's going to last forever. Um, so you have to use your resources and uh, manage your money and manage your time. So I've learned that for sure. Well, I was actually an uh, undrafted free agent. Uh, I got picked up by the Denver Broncos first. And, uh, that was the first team I was on. I didn't, I didn't land the New York Giants until November 1st. But um, that feeling was phenomenal also because that's one of my that was, that was a, a goal that I also had. And um, coming to the New York Giants, I can say has, has been great. Only because coming from Rutgers University, it's a family um, feel. Um, I got that same type of vibe when I when I arrived here with the New York Giants. Well, you know, we, we try to. It's not it's not like a lift during the off season where you're going hard, you're breaking down your body, but it is a um, it is it is a workout where your your body has to remain strong for the game, and it's not you know not tiring too much. Uh, for the game, but it's definitely, it's definitely, we definitely go hard still. Don't think we just take off. We definitely go hard still, but um, it's just you know being you're working smarter than harder during that time. Well, I can say that you know I, I believe that all those guys. You know that believe that they will be in the NFL. That they will. I mean, but you have to understand. A lot of guys say that they will be, but they don't put the work in. So I would have to say that you have to put the work in, and um, it, it, it definitely can come true. Um, it has to be. You have to be determined. Um, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication to get to where I am, and a lot of guys that I'm on a team with. You know, in that position. So I would have to say that just keep working and, and just remember your main goal. If your main goal is to get to the NFL or any, anything professionally, you have to treat yourself and active in, in a way that you're already seen as a professional.
Well, you know, I think it comes from the root of um, whether how, how you were in college or um, maybe how, sometimes how you were raised or where you're from. But um, I wouldn't use that as an excuse. I would have to say that you have to pretty much put yourself. You have to you have to look at yourself from the outside in. You have to understand that you're look you're looked at um, in a different you know from a different angle from any a regular person. You're not a regular person anymore. You're in a fishbowl. So you have to understand that you know anything you do will be blown up. Anything, whether it's negative or positive, people love negative. So you have to try to stir your way. You know, go into a different direction. Me, I'm not much of a partier. So um, I kind of cancel my, you know, that cancels out. I don't really party too much. So that helps me as far as staying out of trouble in that sense. Um, for me, you know, I, I like to, um, if family is near, I like to be around family and friends and teammates, um, whether it's working out or just, you know, just relaxing and chilling. So for me, um, I'm more of a, I'm a people person. So. I'd rather, you know, just relax and chill and then, you know, go back to work the next day. I'm on Twitter, at Brandon Bing. Um, just keep it simple. Um, you can follow me on there. I'm pretty much, I'm myself, just like I am uh, off the field. So, um, BrandonBing.com is a website that's coming, but at Brandon Bing is for Twitter.